1706 FB Winnebago Micro Mini here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you like what you see, you'd like to learn more about it, we leave you a link just right down in the video description that says check for price and availability. That'll show you what we have in stock and what we're asking with its equipment package because the one that we have here probably isn't the one that uh, we have, uh, like or the one that you see here rather, is probably not the one that we have in stock. We do huge volume sales at Halet RV and uh, we'll typically sell the same floor plan, you know, half dozen to a dozen times through the year. So understand that uh, this is how one 1706 might look, not necessarily how all 1706s might look. For instance, You've got this beautiful like firecracker red cherry bomb skin package on this thing. That's not necessarily how they all look because I understand this is very aggressive. This is not the everybody color. That's why Winnebago has six other exterior colors including but not limited to like blue, yellow, white, champagne, um, platinum. You know there's different exterior options here. So if you like everything on this except just the skin, give us a call or check our website again, halotrv.com. You can see the link in the video description if you're just on YouTube and you can see what we have. So this is the smallest tandem axle little thing that Winnebago makes. It's, it's a very popular little model. It's only 3,180 pounds. So it is very, very easily towed. Speaking of easy towing, this is actually a narrow body, seven and a half foot wide model. With so much front storage, it ranges on obscene. It's absolutely huge in here. This is also a nice area to get to kind of see, you know, how they're put together because you can see higher quality materials going into the skeleton of this thing. In case you're curious, that box is actually your twin propane setup. Um, a lot of these small trailers are often shipped on flatbeds, uh, meaning the tongue of the trailer actually has has to go under the uh, bumper of the other one. We're, we're local enough. We're effectively a local dealer for Winnebago towables. We don't have to worry about that. So, you know, we just don't have huge shipping charges. That's one of the advantages you have with Halet RV is both our volume and our locality. We're so close to the manufacturers, we just don't pay thousands of dollars of shipping charges. Um, the narrow body nature of this, you can kind of see the profile right here, makes this for easy towing because it'll help reduce headwinds because it's not as wide it's probably the same width as your vehicle, basically. So, um, you know, it doesn't hang out past your vehicle. I always, always recommend tow mirrors, and that's why we have those available in our Halet RV part shop. But the, uh, the point here is that you have more visibility seeing around your camper. It's easier to pull through. Like, if you're a National Parks camper, holy cow, partner. I can't think of a much better one than this. A lot of beautiful National Parks in Michigan. You got to come visit us and come see it. While I'm standing here, <laughs> there's no propane bottles under that tank cover. That's why it's blowing all over. I tried to give it the appearance, but Mother Nature is not having it today. Um, so, let's talk construction real quick. This rides on a uh, NXG frame. This is an aircraft style huck bolted chassis. It's lighter yet stronger than a traditional I-beam. It's made with what's called HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. It's a Z frame chassis, not an I-beam. Like I said, lighter, stronger. Not the cheapest chassis on the market, but generally speaking, the campers I see riding on this chassis are the ones that seem to hold up well. We've got Aluminum frame structure everywhere. Aluminum frame floor with a plywood deck. Aluminum framed uh, roof rafters. Aluminum frame laminated walls. You get the idea. Um, I also like that all their hookups are in one spot. And an amazing detail thing on a small trailer. You you don't even see this on a lot of fifth wheels. Are the uh, separate park and cable satellite hookups you see right here. Now, something I've learned to look for at Halets from all the different brands that we carry. Because they're all good for different reasons. They are. It's this huge galvanized steel wheel well. This is a blowout guard. God forbid one of these nice belted radials gives up the ghost. It's going to help give you an ounce of protection inside before you know you have a huge, huge insurance claim. I do like those new style aluminum wheels that they had. Those are a little bit of an update over last year. They just have a good look to them. Black tank flush, outside shower. Those are far more common features today than they were historically in the marketplace, so I'm not going to burn a ton of time talking about that. I think you kind of get the idea. Ladder on the back, pardon me for sniffing. I, uh, I think I caught a good old case of the Michigan head cold crud. I feel like I've got, you know that feeling like somebody like just hooks a weight onto your face and it's just pulling your face down. That's kind of the thing I got going on today. But that's not why you're watching this. You, <laughs> you don't care. <coughs> pardon me. Ladder on the back takes us up to the full walk on roof. That's something that some uh, lightweights. Well, especially the smaller the trailer gets, the more common a non-walkable roof becomes. 
We also have the same easy tilt power awning on this with full length LED lighting that you have on the biggest trailer they make at Winnebago, the Mini Plus that we also carry here at Halo RV. And that's one of the things I like most about Winnebago is the consistency. You know, they're built the same way every time, whether it's the biggest one or the littlest one. Um, you know, you still have an outside grill quick connect down here. You still have outside TV hookups. You still have the, the bigger entry handle. It's, it's a small trailer, but it's got all the same big trailer equipment its big brother has. Now, this is important to note too. All of the windows in this are tilt open jowlessy style windows. If that's a word that people don't seem to remember anymore, tilt open windows, tilt open. That creates an, a, 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 like a ledge, a platform. So if it's raining, you can leave this window open and still get fresh air. Very, very handy if you're dry camping or boondocking or whatever phrase you like to apply to it. Now my battery's blinking at me here. We might get cut off if so. Sorry about that. I'll swap batteries. We'll pick right back up. And then the moment you step inside, this is, I mean, not just the moment you step inside, the moment you see the, the nose. I mean, that, that aggressive skin color package, which, by the way, is a true gel coat. Winnebago towables are built with a true T60 gel coat. It's literally a diesel pusher skin. It is two to three quality grades above any fiberglass anyone else is using in small campers like this, guys. There is no one else matching it, not even close. That is an absolute best-in-class feature. Provides superior looks. Arguably, that's subjective, but superior weather resistance for sure because of that, that high reflectivity and UV inhibitors. But then you walk inside and you're met with this very light, bright interior, and it makes this little camper look and feel not so little. Now, certainly, it's not the biggest camper out there, but what I do like is they didn't give it little camper features. We still have the stainless double sink. You see the covers here. We have uh, outfitted this one with that stove cover and, and the, uh, the, the full kitchen complement. This is a little camper with a full kitchen, including that full big six cubic foot fridge and freezer. Smaller models like this, guys, typically have like a, a, a truck camper sized uh, refrigerator. This one has the full Monty. Now, we also have, speaking of full Monty, the uh, full-size air conditioner up here. So this has a 13,500 BTU AC. A lot of times small campers like this will have a five to 8,000 BTU side mount. They just stuck with, again, all the big camper features just in a smaller towable model. That's what's nice. Now, when you start looking up here on each side of the, uh, the mattress, you have some big windows. Now that's a fire escape window over there which can give you some crazy airflow. But look at the size of the window over here. And they purposely kind of leave a little bit of space right there. So, And you see that, that power outlet. That is purposeful by design. So if you want to put like a little phone charger or alarm clock up there by the headboard, you can do that. They really didn't waste any space in here. Because, I mean, the smaller the camper becomes, the more important storage is. They really, really knocked it out of the park. Now, just like there's different exteriors, there's different interior decors. This is called granite. This is, uh, man, if this ain't the most popular, it's got to be right up there. But um, the red outside, the granite interior is the most common combination that we seem to get demanded by our customers. So this video right here is a very good indicator of what we might have to offer you. But again, not necessarily a guarantee. Now, something I do like here is the way they put this little European style bevel effectively on these uh, cabinets. And it, it just, it helps it feel more open. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel quite so big and boxy. And uh, all of the cabinet styles, meaning like this part, the cabinet boxing, they're screwed together. They're pocket screwed, they're not stapled, so that this will hold up over time. And quality and longevity is definitely big on Winnebago's agenda. I actually, I've never seen another brand really do this. They strap the table down for transit. What most brands tell you to do is put the table down in the sleeping position for transit because any dinette can become a small sleeper. Winnebago says, I don't like that. What if it bounces? They, they just don't like that. They keep it uh, in place. By the way, completely carpetless, easy cleaning floor plan. This is an extremely easy to keep camper. Not a lot of upkeep and maintenance required here. <coughs> Pardon me again. Nice little kitchen cross breeze window. And that little window right there I think is everything. That's such a big deal. Because if you are standing there prepping some food or doing some dishes, it's nice to just have that little bit of breeze kind of hitting you or exhaust some heat, which if you're cooking on the stove right here, that's exactly why they have the, the vent right here. This is an awesome, awesome dry camp floor plan. It's very well thought out and planned. Um, 
Still has full, uh, you know, big camper things like the nice HD TV, although you don't need a 90 inch screen in this little camper. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, etc., etc. All that stuff you expect. And really good storage back here. You know, if you are going to dry camp, you're going to have a lot of like boxed foods or something like that. You've got lots of space for all that. A pet peeve I have on a lot of campers, if you guys are going camper shopping, I literally mean it. Bring a cereal box with you. Bring a cereal box with you. This is roughly the height of a cereal box. So you get the idea that, hey, look, we can actually put a cereal box in here. You can't do that with a lot of cameras. It's, it's really silly and frustrating. Pardon the shoddy camera work there. Now, I do like how they frame in their doors. All of their door jams are fully framed and structural here so that the door is the door jam basically is always square. The door can, is not going to pop open and bang against your kitchen counter in transit because you hit a pothole. Now, just like stainless in the kitchen, still have stainless in the bathroom and a pretty darn big one. I mean, you can easily fit your hands side by side in here. Small little corner shower, nice little, you know, uh, foot flush even toilet. Again, big camper features in a small trailer. Not the biggest bathroom ever, but guys, this is not the biggest camper ever. So, I... I've, I've always liked this one. This is a problem-free little thing here, Hakuna Matata, you know? <laughs> so uh, give us a call, learn more, 800-256-5196. We're Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Link in the video description.